Hello and welcome. I'm Miss Heard with Miss Heard Song Lyrics. We're in season four, episode 199, doing my first ever Sia Miss Heard Song Lyric. The Miss Heard Lyric is, I'm unstoppable. I'm a pork chop with no brakes. And then the correct lyrics is, I'm unstoppable. I'm a pork chop with no brakes. Two things I love, pork chops and Porsches. So that's the Miss Heard song lyric. Let's get right into it. So Unstoppable is a song by Australian singer-songwriter Sia. It's actually from her seventh studio album called This Is Acting, actually all the way back from 2016. So put a pin on that date, okay? This song was actually written by Sia and a Christopher Braid and produced by Jesse Shatkin and was released as the album's final promotional single back on January 21st, 2016. So that's about, what, seven years ago already? So imagine six years later, now we're in July of 2022, the song is issued to contemporary hit radio in the U.S. as an official single. So six years later, and it's gaining success from usage on um, backing music on TikTok and in commercials. So thanks to TikTok. And then it's a great song too. So that definitely helps. But what they'll call a sleeper, it just keeps getting up there in the charts. The song has what they said, a prolonged success, or like I said, a sleeper hit. And it's increased attention over the course of six years and reappeared on worldwide charts in the early 2020s. So let's talk about who Sia is. So Sia's full name is Sia Kate Isabel Furler. She was born on December 19, 1975. She's an Australian singer and songwriter and born and raised in Adelaide, Australia, which is the capital city of South Australia, which is actually the state's largest city and the fifth most populous city in Australia. So now I know something new about Adelaide. She started a career there as a singer in the acid jazz band called Crisp in the mid-1990s. So what happened was when Crisp disbanded in 1997, she then released her debut album called Only See in Australia and moved to London and provided vocals for the British duo Zero Seven. She then released her second studio album called Healing is Difficult in 2001 and then her third Color the Small One in 2004. She then moved into New York City in 2005 and toured the U.S. Her fourth and fifth studio albums called Some People Have Real Problems and, Problems and We Are Born was released in 2008 and 2010, respectively, and both were certified gold by the Australian Recording Industry Association, so the ARIA, which is in Australia, and that gave her some more attraction with a wider audience than her earlier albums. Then, following the success of We Are Born, Sia became uncomfortable with her growing fame. This is where we start to see her kind of hiding in, in her wigs and so forth. She later told the New York Times, quote unquote, I just wanted to have a private life. Once, as my friend was telling me they had cancer, someone came up and asked in the middle of the conversation if they could take a photograph with me. You get me? That's enough, right? She then refused to do promos for her tours, began to wear a mask on stage, and became increasingly dependent on drugs and alcohol. Darn it, on the road, she considered suicide. I did not know this about Sia. She then fired Anthoven and hired Jonathan Daniel, who suggests that she write songs for other artists. And that's where literally her career just went on a rocket ship. She retired as a recording artist and then began a career as a songwriter. She soon created Titanium, I love that song, for American singer Alicia Keys, but it was later sent to David Guetta, who included Sia's original demo vocals on the song and released it as a single in 2011. It'd be interesting if Alicia Keys would have done Titanium, would have, have done so well. We, we will never know. Then Titanium peaked within the top 10 of record charts in the U.S., Australia, and numerous European regions. However, Sia recalled, quote unquote, I never even knew it was going to happen. And I was really upset because I just retired. I was trying to be a pop songwriter, not an artist. And I, I... Loved Titanium because it was actually in the movie uh, with all the, what was it called? It's the one where they all were singing. There's three of them. Anyway, it, it was sung in in the movie with, I can't even remember the name of the movie. Anyway, that's where I heard about it. So from 2011 to 2013, Sia also co-wrote songs for many recording artists, including Beyonce, Kylie Minogue, Flo Rider, and Rihanna. She collaborated with Flo Rider on Wild Ones, which peaked at number five on the Billboard Hot 100 and was the 10th best-selling song of 2012 globally. Then in March in 2012, Sia released a greatest hits album, Best Of, in Australia. Australia. 
Then in 2014, Sia broke through as a solo recording artist when her sixth studio album, 1,000 Forms of Fear, debuted number one in the U.S. Billboard 200 and generated the top 10 single Chandelier. I love that song too. And a trilogy of music videos co-directed by Sia and starring child dancer Maddie Ziegler, which also gave Maddie Ziegler a fame from the Stage Mom show. So 1,000 Form of Fear's lead single Chandelier was released in March of 2014. The song peaked at number eight on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, becoming Sia's first entry on the chart as a lead artist. Everywhere else, the song experienced similar commercial success, ranking in the top 10 of, of, of the record charts in Australia and numerous European regions. And as of January 2015, the single had sold 2 million copies in the U.S. Eye of the Needle and Big Girls Cry were released as the second and third singles from the album. And in June 2014, in January 2015, Sia released a solo version of Elastic Heart as the fourth single from 1,000 Forms of Fear. It eventually reached the top 20 on the Hot 100. And at the 57th Annual Grammy Awards in 2015, Sia received four nominations for Chandelier, Record of the Year, Song of the Year, Best Pop, Solo Performance, and Best Music Video. Wow. And then for performances of song from 1,000 Forms of Fear, Sia chose not to show her face, either facing away from the audience or hiding behind oversized platinum blonde wigs. That's how she started, like, you know, getting in my kind of zeitgeast of, oh, who is this gal? And I'm so intrigued she doesn't want to show her face. Almost kind of like the guys from Daft Punk. In videos for the single Chandelier and Elastic Heart and Big Girls Cry, it was choreographed by Ryan Heffington and co-directed by Sia and Daniel Eskel and many of the promotional live performances. Child actor Maddie Ziegler performed as a proxy for Sia in bod blonde, blonde wigs, similar to Sia's familial style. Familiar style. The three the three videos had received a lot of more than a lot, received a total more than four billion views on people. That's B billion. She then explained to Kristen Wiig in an interview in Interview Magazine that she decided to conceal her face to avoid a celebrity lifestyle and maintain some privacy. Quote, unquote, she said, I'm trying to have some control over my image and I'm allowed to maintain some modicum of privacy. But also, I would like not to be picked apart or for people to observe when I put on 10 pounds or take off 10 pounds or I have a hair extension out of place or my fake tan is botched. Most people don't have to be under that pressure. I'd like to be one of them. Very smart. The Chandelier video was ranked the 10th greatest music video of the 2010s by Billboard magazine or Billboard. There's a couple did you knows. This is interesting. Did you know number one? Sia is actually an avid, avid fan of the television reality series Survivor. And back in 2016, she made a surprise appearance on the live reunion of Survivor Kao Rong, where she donated 50000 to contestant Tai Trang and another 50000 to an animal charity of his choice, noting that the two share a mutual love of animals. Since then, she reg regularly has awarded prizes to her favorite contestants from subsequent seasons of Survivor. That's interesting. And then did you know number two? In 2019, Sia adopted two boys who were aging out of the foster care system. In 2010, she also announced she'd become a grandmother when one of her two 19-year-old sons had fathered twins. That's amazing. Okay. And her, back to her albums, her seventh studio album, This Is Acting 2016, spawned her first Billboard Hot 100 number one single, Cheap Thrills. I love that song. It kind of has a kind of island vibe to it. That year, she also began her Nostalgic for the Present tour, which incorporated dancing by Maddie Ziegler and others and other performance art elements. Her eighth studio album, Every Day is Christmas, was released in 2017 and then reissued in 2018 with three bonus tracks. In 2018, she collaborated with Labyrinth Diplo in the group LSD, which of course makes sense because she's the S of LSD, and they released her self-titled debut album back in April of 2019. She has written many songs for films and she directed a feature film titled Music, which was released in early 2020, 2021 alongside an album called Music, Songs From and Inspired by the Motion Picture. She is definitely an animal rights advocate and among the accolades received by Sia, she um, received a dozen ARIA awards, or ARIA awards from Australia, nine Grammy award nominations and an MTV Video Music Award. So let's get back to Unstoppable. So she debuted Unstoppable, like I said earlier, on January 20th, 2016 
days before the album's January 29, 2016 release date. The song marked the sixth use to promote the album prior to its release. Actually, Major League Baseball used the song to promote the 2016 postseason as well as highlights. I never would have thought baseball, but it's a great song. It's very anthem-like. And then in 2019, the song was used in a commercial for Lancome Fragrance, which st starred beautiful model actress Zendaya. And then in 2022, Unstoppable was featured in a commercial for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. So she is just going all the way to the bank with the song. Have you seen the music video? Very interesting. It features actress Gabby Hoffman, not Maddie Ziegler, who dresses with a Sia black and white wig and oversized, oversized cartoonish jeans as she's lip syncing to the song and headbutts, I get this, headbutts, several pieces of glass brought in by multiple handlers. Did I, did I catch your, you gotta see it, okay? If that name, Gabby Hoffman, rings a bell, she was that adorable daughter opposite co-star Macaulay Culkin in the 1989 comedy Uncle Buck with the late John Candy. So check it out. It's an interesting video, like every Sia video. It kind of brings you in. And of course, the song is amazing. I mean, like many people have said, many critics, if you go on the internet, it's an anthem. It's a wonderful song. Like if you want a day that you're going to just kill it, play the song because it will get you pumped. If you have any great suggestions like this, and especially this funny misheard of Pork Chops with no breaks, it's really Porsche, I would love to hear from you. So go ahead and send it to any of our sites like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or even old fashioned via email to me at misheard, that's M-I-S-S-H-E-A-R-D songs at gmail.com. And I'd love to hear from you. Till then, keep singing those songs wrong. Bye.